Hey guys, I'm gonna be showing you some crazy things you wish you could do on your iPhone in this video. There's a lot of new jailbreak tweaks that really expand the functionality of the iPhone in so many ways, you know, other than this stupid little awesome and fun little uh, tweak, there's a bunch I'm gonna be showing you here. And look who's back. This guy has graced me with his presence once again. It's been a while since he was here, literally like two months and out of nowhere today he shows up. For a moment, I thought he got shot or captured or something. So. All right, so let's get started, guys. I've got a ton to show you guys, and we're gonna start with this one. Let me raise that brightness real quick. This is Zen HTML plus this Watchdog uh, lock screen widget. So very similar to the animation from the actual game. I like it a lot. Switches between the date to the time, and has this really nice high-tech look. That's your phone, something unique for sure. So check this one out. This one is absolutely awesome. With the screen off, if I go ahead and get a notification, this is notification, so it gives you this beautiful animation where your notches, and meanwhile, the rest of your screen is off, so it takes advantage of that OLED display. It does work on all other devices, but it's specifically made for an OLED. It's just all around really, really cool. And actually unlocking our device, if we go into our notifications, take a look at this. You have this beautiful new uh, notification style, and this is with Modern XI, so it gives you a fresh new look at your notifications. Plus what you're seeing with the colors, this is Color Banners 2, so it will adjust the background of the notification little bubble to the app that it's coming from. So this next one isn't new per se, but it is very nice. It still works on the iPhone 10, and this here is gravity. So it allows you to throw around your icons all around. And then if you want, you can interact with them. It's just really, really neat what you can do. And uh, yeah, it's like a sandbox little game. Very, very fun. It's something unusual for sure. I unlock my phone, people look over like, what the heck is going on to your icons? Yeah, they're broken. So there is gravity. This next one is called floating dock and it brings the iPad dock over to the iPhones. So your recent apps will show up on the right side here. So if I open up the camera application, and go back home, you'll notice that it just appeared here in the dock and it can expand. You can add as many icons here as you want. Well, there is a limit, but there's a lot that you can add and uh, just very, very intuitive, very nice to have, I guess bring up those recent apps faster. This is also dock in switcher. So you have your dock showing up in the app switcher in case you need to switch to an app real quick. That's always there. Very nice to have. And this here is SB card. So have the home app screen show up in the app switcher, which is very nice to have. It was available in older versions of iOS and now you can bring it back. And this one is called swipe to hide. Quite interesting why you need it, but I guess it's nice to have. So you can swipe real quick on the status bar to hide it, swipe back for it to reappear just in case you want that cleaner look. And of course, those settings do stay if you lock the phone. Same thing goes for the dock. So just actually swipe down on the dock here if you have an iPhone 10 and that disappears and then swipe back up and it will show up once again. Very neat. And you can make your animations so much faster with animations be fast. So not only does your unlock animation get faster, your actual open apps animation gets faster. 3D touch animation is almost instant. As you can see, the app switcher shows up faster. Just make your phone feel so much speedier. And these settings here are quite diverse. I love how much faster it makes the already fast iPhone 10 feel. And lock anim brings animations to when you lock your device. So for example, I have this broken one available right now. If I jump in and turn to TV off. It gives me that nice TV animation when you lock your device. Also, this is the default one. It's kind of zooms out. So very nice to have that choice. Also, if I respring my phone, here's got to respring them all. This brings a Pokemon respring animation to your device. You have a master ball and you can choose between several different styles. So this tweak alongside the one where you have that call interface from the Pokemon games is a very nice combo. And here's several for non iPhone 10 devices. I wanted to share the love. By the way, all of these tweaks I'm showing you in this video do work on all devices on iOS 11.3, 3.1, even 11.1.2, .1 and the new 11.4. I have them all running on my iPhone 10 11.4. Anyways, on the iPhone 8 Plus, this is Nougat, so it brings the control center, the interface from uh, Android to iOS, and it's literally almost entirely full port here. It works just the same. It is so fluid, so smooth. It makes Apple's feel quite clunky in comparison. It's kind of amazing how well it works. So if you were missing that Android experience, Experience, bring it over to your iPhone. You can adjust everything here, quick settings to go into settings. It's just so nice to have this as a choice. Enable low power mode here. Incredible how amazing this tweak is. And what you guys are seeing here in the corners, this is cardboard. It rounds your corners and adds a dark status bar up top. It looks very, very nice. I'm surprised. I mean, I could totally see Apple doing something like this in the future. So give your phone a very neat and sophisticated look 
with this tweak. Also, this is home gesture. So bring all of the iPhone 10 gestures over to all other devices. So that includes the app switcher, that includes the control center from the top right, which I do have NuGet installed, so it doesn't go to the stock one, but uh, also the swipe in between apps here. Very, very nice. It doesn't work with the tap to wake, but everything else you do get. And on the lock screen here, as you can see, you get the toggles, just very, very cool. The functionality that it adds, it makes your phone feel like the iPhone 10, and as a result, makes it feel a little bit faster, especially switching between apps. Man, this guy just doesn't give up. I don't know what he wants. I fed him a little bit. I really don't know. Just sitting there chilling. But uh, anyway, so this next one is called Call Bar. It just came out. So this one gives an unobtrusive calling interface to pretty much any call. So FaceTime, uh, any sort of audio inputs coming in on your device. You can pick up and then go to, you know, this little interface here where you can adjust all those things. Basically, it doesn't take over your entire display just to receive a phone call. And uh, you can control every aspect of the call while still being able to multitask, you know, throw your icons around here and there if you <laughs> really want to. But uh, I love this one. Very, very clean. I love the solution. And in the same vein, here is small. Siri. So it brings up this interface here, uh, gives you Siri while you can still keep doing what you're doing on your device. Very, very intuitive. Now you can click on it for her to finish. I'm not sure I understand. And uh, yeah, click again so she keeps going. Very nice. So Apple should definitely bring stuff like this over just so you can keep doing what you're doing. I hate being interrupted, you know, just to activate Siri or receive a phone call. And here's Duo. In the control center, you can get another page where you can keep adding tweaks. And of course, you can add third party ones with other tweaks. So it's just very nice to have that. And here's CC Linker. So you can hold on certain parts of the control center and be taken to the respective settings for them. So well, camera's a bad one. Let's go to brightness. Hold the do not disturb, be taken to the do not disturb settings. You know, you get the idea Bluetooth, go to the Bluetooth settings, just nice to have. And I've shown you this one before, but it's just been updated for iOS 11.4 and some nice new background settings. Artsy lets you get a very nice customized background, both on the lock screen, in the music application. And of course you can mix it with Mitsuha XI and get to the visualizer in the middle. Also a very nice one. And two of my all time favorite jailbreak tweaks, they've both just been updated for iOS 11.4 and 11.3.1 support. This one is send delay. So if you accidentally send something that's wrong or you're sending it to the wrong person, it gives you a little grace period to cancel the message. And you can choose how long that grace period is if you need a little bit longer just to decide. This could be a potential lifesaver. And also type status has been updated. So know when someone is typing uh, before they send you that message and know when they read a message, you'll get the very same notification integrated very nicely on the iPhone 10. You know, from any application where you're at, you're going to see that little memo not on the home screen for whatever reason, uh, but within an app, you will see that. So very cool. Oh, and what you're seeing here is Chroma Home Bar 10. So it gives you this nice chromatic look, keeps shifting colors, you know, there's no function to it, just aesthetic purposes, looks quite nice. So um, yeah literally just switching through colors, but I really, really like it. Power tap two gives you more control when going into your power down menu. So you can click here to reboot, to soft reboot, to respring for safe mode and for UI cache and then to power off. So this one's just been updated. Since Apple hasn't been adding this, developers took this into their own hands. And if you go into video here, I'm gonna zoom in on this bird and with tap video config, click on the resolution info up here and you can change that. Now there isn't a setting for 4K 60. I'm hoping that will be added in a future update, but it's just so nice to not have to go into the settings just to change the video resolution and frame rate. And here's size finder. So if you click on an application before you remove it, it'll show you the size of the application and you can go through your apps just to see which one is the largest. Uh, see, here's YouTube taking up 142 megabytes. Of course, you can still delete the app same way. Just click on the uh, size little memo and you can delete it. This next one is Bozzy. It's been updated for 11.4 and has some new customization options. So it allows you to get the battery percentage on the iPhone 10 in the top right, or of course, change your existing one on any other iPhone to a new theme. It's also got this awesome new feature where you can actually make the battery percentage wrap around the notch and it'll keep shrinking down. And if you actually plug it into charge, it starts to ebb and flow to indicate that it is charging. Very, very neat. We've also got free RAM under clock 10 and it'll show you the amount of available RAM. So uh, I'm not sure if this will actually help to remove some, but let's see if it does. So I'm gonna remove a few apps 
and uh, no, they did not impact it at all, 784 megabytes. Also here is CC time 10. So it gives you the clock in the middle of the uh, control center on the iPhone 10, where previously that was not there. So you can tell the time without having to go back to your home screen. And this one keeps your device feeling fresh. Auto wall will automatically change your wallpapers depending on a schedule that you set. So I actually got the Mojave wallpapers with the desert, the night one, daytime one, and it's as close as I can get to that functionality on the iPhone. So it will automatically change the wallpapers every hour and uh, it'll cycle through these, basically keeping your device fresh and you can do as many as you want. You can have it change every certain amount of seconds even or minutes. So that is awesome. And sugarcane gives you the percentage of your brightness and of the volume over here. And as you move it, you can actually get much more precise measurements here. All right guys, so there it is. Those are some new jailbreak tweaks and I really wish I could do them on my iOS 12 device, but Apple makes it so dang hard. At least add some of these features to iOS, but nope, can't have it. Anyways, it makes jailbreaking just that much sweeter. So from me and my friend over there, I wanna say thank you for watching this video guys. Stay tuned for more.